Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is research in education types of tools. We have discussed already rating scale, attitude scale, questionnaire. Today we are going to discuss tests. A test in the narrowest sense connotes the presentation of a standard set of questions to be answered. We obtain a measure that is a numerical value maybe of a characteristic or attribute of a person pertaining to his or her potential knowledge of say mathematics, honesty, perseverance, creativity from his or her answers to such a series of questions. Obviously, if you want to take any test related to maybe intelligence, we will take any standardized tool and we perform the test. Likewise, a test is a narrow essence, a small test that is maybe presentation of a standard set. Maybe in schools also they take tests, maybe unit tests or few slip tests like that, they take the test. So why we take to obtain some knowledge related to that person, maybe his characteristics or maybe attributes or numerical values that is in schools, they take the test of mathematics, social sciences, sciences, languages, etc. So even attributes also can be measured through some tests. Now some types of tests here, tests may be classified in different ways, some of which are described as follows. Num A, on the basis of administration, that is we have three categories under this classification, power versus speed test. That means how much power that person has and the speed, maybe in sports they can take these tests. Then individual versus group tests. Obviously, individual tests can be taken or some group tests also can be performed. Then paper pencil and performance tests. All we know on the basis of administration. Now the B on the basis of standardization. On the basis of standardization, tests can be classified into two categories that is non-standardized teacher made tests and standardized tests. Then the third one C on the basis of traits and abilities to be measured. They are the tests of general mental ability or intelligence, the tests of special abilities or aptitudes, the tests of creativity, the tests of attainment or achievement, the personality measure. So these are on the basis of traits and abilities. Now here in our syllabus here given aptitude test and achievement test. Let's see here what is aptitude test. That is directed as specialized abilities. For what? For an effective educational or vocational guidance and proper placements. Generally they take the aptitude test before going into any professional courses. Engineering maybe, maybe medical or teacher field all these aptitude tests are conducted to place them maybe for further education or maybe for vocational guidance or maybe for placement. Used mainly to predict success in some occupation, academic or training course obviously. Now let's see the example for selecting clerks for a bank. Clerical aptitude tests have to be administered obviously. For, uh, suppose teacher education. If they want to study any bachelor of education, they have to give one test before the, uh, getting the seat in the uh, un college. So similarly for admitting learners to a BA, that's what I'm saying course, teaching aptitude test has to be administered. Now let's see the achievement test. It is conducted to measure present performance vis-a-vis -vis the skill or knowledge that has been acquired as a result of some training. Obviously, after giving some training or giving some uh, academic support or giving some course, all these things uh, after getting all the course, the test achievement test will be conducted. 
it is designed to measure an individual's level of learning in a particular discipline maybe or subject or course at the end of instruction obviously in schools it happens achievement tests are conducted generally if an achievement test is developed to assess whether a student possesses required skills in terms of a specified criterion at a particular time, the test is designated as criterion referenced or mastery test. About criterion reference test, we have discussed in the previous video. You can watch that video thoroughly. What is a criterion test? Now, if on the other hand, the test is to assess the student's relative position in a group, the test is called discriminatory or norm reference test. Here criterion, some specified criteria about particular time that the test is designed. That is assess the achievement of any students. What are the skills that are required in terms of specific criteria that is criterion reference. Now here the norm reference that is relative position to understand the relative position the comparison between some students can happen here now let's see the example achievement tests may be classified as traditional or essay type and new type or objective tests new type or objective tests include multiple choice true or false completion matching and short answer items so we come to the end of this session we will discuss the continued part in the next class if you like the video please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning